Hi, this is Linda with Traveling Flamingo, and I just got back from a cruise with my sister on the Carnival Mardi Gras, and there was one restaurant we wanted to try, but in the end was amazed at how many times we were going back to again and again. We fell in love with the Pig and Anchor, and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know and why we kept going back. The Carnival Mardi Gras is one of Carnival's newest ships and has a whopping 22 restaurants. I'm a little embarrassed to say that we tried 19 of them. The Pig and Anchor was one of the few restaurants that was open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and we tried all three. I'm going to tell you about the atmosphere, location, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, as well as the dress code and any tips I have. Let's get started with the atmosphere. Pig and Anchor is a barbecue smokehouse that has indoor and outdoor seating, as well as a stage that has live performances in the evening and hosts different events during the day. There is also a large bar, which is nice if you're enjoying the sun deck at the back. We also enjoyed the views out the aft of the ship while we were in San Juan having breakfast and saw airplanes landing at the airport. It was amazing. What a great way to start a day. It does have a rustic vibe with metals, tin trays, and exposed wood. My sister and I really enjoyed the relaxed atmosphere that it had. The dining area inside is pretty big, which is nice in the Caribbean heat, so we're not outside in the sun all day. This brings us to location. The Mardi Gras has six zones with different bars, restaurants, and entertainment. You can find the Pig and Anchor in the Summer Landing, which is on Deck 8 at the aft, just past guest services. This made it a great location for us as we were staying in the Havana, which is Deck 8 forward. This is also a great location if you're enjoying shows in the theater, Grand Central, or relaxing in the patio pool. Before we get into the different meal options, I just wanted to pop in here and thank everybody who has liked and subscribed to our channel and say we have tons of cruising videos like Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse, cruise port tours like Aruba, and room tours like the Celebrity Edge. So when this video is done, be sure to check our channel out. Thank you. Pig and Anchor does serve breakfast and was one of our favorite breakfast locations. The first couple of mornings on our cruise, it was sea day, so we had gone to the main dining room for their sea day brunch. And by day three, we thought we would try something different. We went up to the Lido deck to check out the Lido Marketplace Buffet. Even though we were there relatively early, there was already huge lines, and even walking all the way to the back, we had a hard time finding a table for two. It was a bit hectic, and this was not the morning vibe we were going for. So we checked the app to see what else was open, and saw that the Pig and Anchor did breakfast as well. When we got down there, we were shocked at how quiet it was. You could choose a booth, a table by the window, wherever you wanted. It was also a buffet and had all the same beverage options that the Lido Marketplace had. There was a much calmer feeling and it was very relaxing. The buffet had almost all the same American breakfast options you could get at the Lido Marketplace, including cold cuts and cheeses, pastry, scrambled eggs, bacon, and eggs benedict. The only thing that it didn't have was the made-to-order omelet station where you could also get fried eggs. It was so much quieter and calmer. I was just happy to have scrambled eggs instead of an omelet. So if you're looking for a quiet buffet or to be able to grab some breakfast food quick before your excursion, then I highly recommend the Pig and Anchor. Now let's take a look at lunch. Here you can enjoy all the great smokehouse and barbecue flavors without a charge. Pig and Anchor is open for lunch on sea days, and on our sailing, it was only open from noon until 2.30. So be sure to check your Carnival Hub app for times on your sailing so you don't miss out. We really wanted some of that mac and cheese, so we went there for a late lunch on our last sea day, and we missed it. They have set up lunch to give a real barbecue feel with the buffet counter outside, and then there's also outdoor seating. There's nothing like an outdoor barbecue. Some of the foods you can expect is pork butts, smoked beef, sausage, and blue ribbon chicken. Their side dishes are also amazing with options like mac and cheese, potato salad, and collard greens. There are also a variety of sauces you can enjoy with your food like burning tomato, black pepper, and smoky chipotle. This is a great location to grab lunch or a second lunch if you're still a little bit hungry. 
At dinner, you have a larger selection of options, and instead of going to the counter to get your food, it is a table service restaurant. There's also live music in the evenings, which makes it a really fun atmosphere. Some of the extra items on the menu are ribs, fully loaded thunder tots, and a larger selection of sides. If you want, there are a couple items that you can pay for, like broiled lobster and prime rib. For dessert, there are three options, the bourbon banana pie, apple cobbler, and the Mississippi mud pie. I'm not gonna lie, we tried a lot so we could get a full experience and we left full. I really enjoyed the brisket and my sister enjoyed the smoked pulled pork. We were gonna share the thunder tot, but when they came, they weren't that big and we're pretty good at sharing, but we're still sisters, so I had to get my own. There was a lot going on and they were good, but there was not a lot of tater tots in there. We really liked the Mac Daddy mac and cheese. It was definitely the best mac and cheese we had on the cruise. So if you are a fan, make sure you go to Pig and Anchor. On our sailing, it was included in the cruise fare for dinner. And right now on most ships it is, but there are a couple that you do have to pay a fee for dinner. So be sure to check out that Carnival Cruise app to see if it's free on your ship or not. We were really impressed with the food the, and the atmosphere at Pig and Anchor. You could eat there for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and sit in a different place each time and get a good variety of food as well. How quiet breakfast was and that we could pop in, eat quick, and head out to the port was great. My only complaint was that it did not have longer hours for lunch. Have you ever dined at Pig and Anchor before? What did you think? Would you go if they charged a fee? We love hearing your ideas and opinions, so let us know in the comments below. Also, if you're looking for some fun cruising shirts, we've got a few new ones on our store you can check out. I love the Good Vibes and High Tides one. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch our video. We hope that you found it helpful while planning your trip. Remember, memories are forever, so make them fabulous. Thanks again for watching and happy travels.